Hey guys, Mark Galloway here, and we're back with another cooking video. I know it's been a long time, but we finally have one coming. So for this episode, we are going to be making cheese balls. And nope, this isn't uh, like that snack thing, like the Cheetos, like the puppy Cheetos, like, you know, when they're shaped like a ball. This one is like where you take some mashed potatoes, put some ingredients in, put cheese on the inside, put them in breadcrumbs, deep fry them, and you have a cheese ball. So, right here, we have some potatoes boiling right now. So, what you can do first is, um, what basically you are gonna boil the potatoes until they're all mushy. So, in the meantime though, while they cook, you can add any flavor of some sorts that you want. If you wanna add any spices into it, you can, just to give it some flavor. So basically what we're going to do, we're putting in some salt and what that's going to do is that once you, you have to put, basically you have to put in enough salt into the water and then it's going, the hot water is going to, you know, it's just going to, it's going to, all the salt stuff is going to spread all around the water and it's just going to make the water very salty and then it's just going to put something into the potatoes and, if, and as I said, if you want to put anything else, in there you can. So what you're going to do first is that you're going to boil the potatoes, let them boil, wait till they're all mushy, and then once that's all done, you're going to drain all the water, and then you're going to peel off all the skin, and then you're going to mash up all the potatoes until they're mashed potatoes, and then you're going to add some ingredients in there, which we will get to later, and then we're going to take some cheese, put them inside, put them in balls and breadcrumbs, and you have the option if you want to put on breadcrumbs or not. But, and then after that, you put them into a ball, put them in breadcrumbs, and then you put them into the freezer if you want, and then you just save that for later. So, basically there is recipes that you can follow if you want to make a prestigious cheese ball. We're going to add just a little bit of those stuff, but if you want to, add any ingredients you want. But otherwise, do not add anything like cinnamon or anything like that. You don't want to ruin that specific taste of what it's supposed to be like. So right now, just let it boil, and then just wait until they're all mushy and ready to get to work. Okay, so now that the potatoes have finished boiling, what you will have to do is take out all of the potatoes out of the water. Um, if you want to just drain the water and then just uh, let the potatoes just like sit for a second, you can do that. But what you have to do is that you have to put the potatoes in cold water, and then you got to peel off the skin and leave them in there for about a minute or two. And then after that one, you're going to take them into a separate bowl, and then you're going to mash them all. And then, we're going to start adding in all the spices that we need. It's also optional that you can put in like smaller ingredients if you want to. First, we'll add in some butter. same thing mash it all around okay now that our potatoes are mashed we're now going to add in our spices and all the stuff that we need before we mix and once it gets to the mixing you're it's all about using the hands so we're gonna add in some garlic powder remember do not add too much you only just want to add like enough some oregano Now, you do need red chili powder, but I don't really have any, but, in, but any kind of chili powder you have, it's usable. So we're going to add in some dark chili powder. I'm not a fan of the hot, I'm not a huge fan of the hot stuff, so we're only going to add in about that much. We're going to add in some salt and pepper. Next, we're going to add in mozzarella cheese. You're going to want to use only one handful because you're going to need some more to put some on the inside. That's enough. 
I also have cheese sticks, so if, even if I run out of that, even if I run out of that, you'll use the mozzarella sticks, chop them up, and you'll use those for the inside. Next, we're gonna add in just a little bit of cornstarch. Just about that much. And finally, although corn flour is the part of the recipe, my mom claims that, or says that we don't have any, so use cornmeal if you want to. And again, just only good, use a little bit. Just around that much. And now it's time to mix it all together. The cornstarch will make the potatoes more like, turn them more like into a dough of some sort. You don't want to add too much. You got to make sure that every single one of the potatoes is not only coated, but you got to make sure it's also pasty enough. Okay, do not get rid of the cornmeal once you use it, even for the mix. You're going to want to save it for later. So now what we're going to do is now we're going to put it in, turn it into a cheese ball. So what you're going to do first is that you're going to take a little bit of this pota mashed potato paste and then you're going to want to flatten it. So be a little gentle when you do this. Now, what you can do is that like, in case if it still gets too sticky and it's falling apart, you can just put it back in and add in a little bit more cornstarch. And again, you don't want to completely turn it into a dough. You just want to make sure it's still enough that it's sticky and that it'll close up tightly. Okay, now that it's thick enough, let's see if we can get this down for real. So again, what you're going to want to do Flatten it all out, take a little bit, little bits at a time, and then make sure it's completely flat like this. So next, what you're gonna wanna do, take some cheese. And also, and as I said, you can have the option to put anything that you want. If you wanna put like vegetables in it, you can. All right, so now you're gonna wanna take this amount of cheese right here, and then it's all about sealing it up. Hold your hand just like this. Make sure every single one of the cheese is tucked in. And then roll it all up. And then voila. And do this. And there's your cheese ball. So depending on how many uh, mashed potatoes you have, you just keep doing this all the way around. I'm going to do one more in case if you guys didn't get a good look. So, again, take this amount of cheese. Or no, potatoes, my bad. Take this amount of potatoes and then just do it all like this. Make sure it's completely flat and it, and it fits the complete palm of your hand. Get some cheese. And then do this. Don't add too much. So then, again, to make sure they're completely in the center and make sure that when you're closing it, close your hand just like this and then slowly fold it up. And then again, make sure every single one of the cheese is coated in. And then you just like roll it all up until it's all sealed and then once you get it all sealed, you just roll it up like a ball like that. And then you have your cheese ball. Okay, so here we have all the balls. Now we're going to get ready to put them into the final touches. We have our bowl full of breadcrumbs. But we're going to make our sticky stuff. We have a bowl full of cornmeal and flour. So you're going to mix all this in. And then you're going to put some water in it. So you're not going to be looking for a dough. You're going to be looking for a watery consistency and make sure that like when you put it in, it just falls right off, but you got to make sure it's like really sticky in there. And then you put them back, you put them into this uh, breadcrumb and then you put them back onto the tray and then we're going to let it freeze for approximately somewhere between 30 minutes or an hour. So anyways, you mix all that in and now we're going to add in our water. We're going to do little bits at a time. And again, little bits at a time. All 
Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do a couple so you know what you're doing. So first, take one of the potato balls and put them in to this corn fl cornmeal flour mix. Make sure it's all coated. And then breadcrumbs. And then there you go. You have the completed one. So you're going to do this all the way around. You first put it in here. And then breadcrumbs. Potato ball, mix, breadcrumbs. So you do this all the way around, and then once you have every single one of your balls coated in this, you then put it in the freezer for approximately 30 minutes or one hour. Now we have all our finished cheese balls. Now we're gonna put them into the freezer and let them freeze for about approximately 45 minutes. Okay, now that all the balls have been frozen, let's cook them. We're gonna wait until they're either golden brown or if any of the cheese starts to like um, leak out a little bit. But let's let them cook. Okay, now that it's been a couple minutes, let's take out this first batch. Wow, now that looks so appetizing. All right, now we're gonna let these cool off for a little bit, give it about five minutes and then they're ready to eat. In the meantime, let's put in some more balls. And here is the second batch done. And you can see that there's no leak or anything. You just gotta make sure those potatoes are sealed very good and put them in breadcrumbs and it's all very delicious. Next batch. Okay, now basically the rest is just gonna be cooking. But since we have like a good batch right here that's very well done, here's what it looks like all done on the outside. Let's give this a test. Our taste test. Mmm. Let me show you this. I was trying to do that cheese pull thing, but. Hot, but it's good. Try one more time with it. Best I'm gonna do. That was the best I'm gonna do. But it's delicious. I recommend try this recipe. If not recipe from this video, look it up and give it a try. It's delicious. You'll love it. Anyways guys, um, the rest of the video I would just be putting batch after batch in, but that's how you make cheese balls. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos.